the seven simple steps for bio digester construction whether you are a beginner or you are an expert in this field look out for these simple construction steps now there's also a bonus point so i entreat you to stay to the end for this particular bonus point so let's dive into the video so the first simple step that you need to know and decide is the selection of the location for the bio digester you go and do an assessment in the first place and then you get your location right you get the exact place you are going to site the bio digester you can do this together with the plumber and the homeowner as well or you can give them your technical advice that's what is going to work for the bio digester where are the pipes coming from how many toilets are in the house how many pipes are coming from which part of the building you need to know all these things to decide where you are going to place the bio digester the second simple step is that you are going to have to mark the ground and then dig the ground based on the size of the bio digester you have to obviously do a digging and the difference between this type of digging and the septic system is that you are not going to go deep maximum feet is two feet you have to go then probably you are looking at three feet how many costs of block are you going to lay if you are using the prefabricated slabs are you going to put them on the block so that it can be elevated what's the level of the house when the final groundworks are done how many inches does the homeowner or the architect or the groundworks do they look out for do they want the digest tower to show only two inches are they looking at it flashing with the ground or they are going to do some toweling around them so they prefer it to show and it becomes part of the design of the house you will need to know all these things so that when you do your digester you get a place for the top slab as well and then it can be hidden or depending on what you are looking for you can get it nicely is it going to be for a commercial use is it going to be for a simple apartment or is it going to be for domestic i mean depending on the type of building that you have there you have to decide on that one as well the third step is to dig the bio digester i usually prefer them in a rectangular shape the rectangular shape means that the digester has got about six feet on the length and then the width is two and a half or three feet and then the depth you're looking at two feet or two and a half feet so that you know your bedding materials are coming in you know your filtration materials are all going to be neat and then it's going to work as you envisage it to work for you the reason why we also consider the rectangular shape is because the type of simple or site biodegradable waste by the that we do they work in such a way that you have the outlet leading to the soak pit or the soak away or into a drainage system depending on whatever one is available to you for the wastewater and you are going to do a screening at the base just to separate the water from the human waste so the rectangular shapes work well the fourth step in your construction of a simple on-site biodigester is to construct a soak hole pit now you have options you do have a soak away which means that you are going to do some block work and have the leche pipe connected to it or you are going to have a soak hole pit which means that you are going to have stones that will be laid in it and then you are going to have some rubber or carpet on top of it and then you are going to put back the topsoil on it so that it can be buried in the ground there are conditions for having a soak hole pit which means that the ground is good for you and it's going to work perfectly for soaking the wastewater that will be coming to the soak away from the biodigester the gradient is key in this situation you don't want the water to go back i've done a soak hole pit which is what i recommend you consider when you are constructing a soak hole pit for a biodigester at the end of the shape put a vent cap there so that no debris from the or no small stones from the soak hole pit will go back and block the wastewater from coming into the soak hole pit the fifth most important step that you need to take when you are constructing a biodigester is to lay the blocks that's if you are doing it using blocks or bricks or to use a prefabricated slabs and have them erected to fit the size of the hole that you have dug when you are doing biodigester using blocks we prefer you use the quarry dust blocks because they are firm they have been pressed and they can contain any moist or any water that might retain in the biodigester so you lay your blocks if you cannot do them yourself get an expert in terms of a mason to have the blocks laid for you because it actually does require some technical understanding but it's also your best bet knowing that you are a beginner in the biodigester construction the simple one to do is to just lay the blocks if you also have access to a prefabricated slab or you know how to cast 
this prefabricated slabs you're also good to go the advantage is that means that your digester can be done within a short period of time so you lay your blocks to match the size of the hole that you have dug and then you lay them to the level in which you want them to be considering where you are going to put your slabs that's the filtration slabs and the materials including all the bedding materials that will go on that slab where they are going to be and what level room is going to be left for your inlet pipe that's coming that's key remember the inlet pipe that's coming the inlet pipe is coming from the house and then the outlet is where the leche pipe will be leading to your so -called pit or your soak away it's key you get this one right because if you do not get this one right the biodigester will be rendered ineffective and only after using it for a few weeks or months you are going to have problems because there's not going to be any biodegradation that will take place laying the blocks and getting it right is key for your biodigester construction the sixth simple step that you have to take in constructing a biodigester is to prepare the biodigester bed including the bedding materials so when you are going to cast the top slabs for your biodigester you have to cast a slab for the bedding material this slab means that you are going to perforate them and you are going to leave holes in them mostly if you are using the prefabricated slabs we do have the chippings that have been done into porous that's what we use for the filtration of the bedding material you are going to have to lay them on the biodigester because you have done your screeding when you lay the blocks and then you have done a gradient that leads straight into the so-called pit which means that any water that comes into the biodigester is going to be drained immediately there is rapid separation that's what we say rapid separation and that's the key difference between a biodigester and a septic system why the septic system is a holding tank which means that the water together with the human waste is all retained in the tank hoping hopefully for longer use and then a truck will come and dislodge it the biodegradable waste biodigesters work in such a way that the human waste is what is retained in the digester and the wastewater is drained out immediately you flush it and the microorganisms that you do introduce including your bedding materials will help biodegrade the human waste so that in the near future if you have to do maintenance and have them taken out it is easy to dispose them either at your backyard garden or it can be taken away and dumped anywhere easily at your backyard there's no problem with that that's exactly what you cannot get when you do a septic system because it means that the truck will show up in the house have to have it sipped down it has to be taken to a treatment plant for it to be treated so that later it can be disposed of easily in terms of the biodigester bed preparation you will need your fiber nets you will need your coconut fiber you will need your filtration material anything that you're using that makes it work for you i have done a video that explains how to construct a biodigester vividly and then it's going to be available in the description box below and you can have a look at it after watching this video we are trying to be sustainable as much as we can by using simple on-site biodegradable waste biodigester for human waste treatment the seventh simple step that you will need to take in constructing the biodigester is to put the top slab and seal it airtight now to the bonus point somebody will tell you when you put the top slab on it you have to give it a vent pipe i do not subscribe to that i've done a lot of videos explaining this one as well i do not agree with that statement the biodigester needs to be so airtight because you don't want it to work in the absence of oxygen which means that any vent that comes in is going to invite unnecessary things into the biodigester it's going to invite flies when it rains you rain my sipping because you have put a vent pipe on it water might just go into the digester and that's what the digester does not like the digesters do not like water in them so the vent that's needed in the house is enough to serve everybody if you are having you are building a house you need to have a vent pipe as part of the construction if a plumber shows up in the house ask them the first question is do we have a vent in this house if they don't have tell them to create one on the wall and extend it all the way to the top so that if there's any air that needs to go out you can pass through it if there's air in your biodigester that needs to go out you can come back and pass through that vent if there's a air a bath smell that is also in the toilet that need to go out it can come through the vent and then it will go you don't need a vent pipe on a biodigester aesthetically it's not pleasing it doesn't look nice on the eye locating a biodigester by the corner and putting a vent pipe on it 
how long can you extend it you are not supposed to put the vent pipe that's short on the biodigester huh? it's technically wrong so use the vent that's provided in the house dream house biodigester it's a channel that we have dedicated to the construction of biodigesters and for those who are interested in learning how biodigesters work and for homeowners who want to use this as an option in managing their human waste in their house the next video showing on this channel is going to explain to you in further steps how to construct a biodigester perfectly